Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Monday, May 2nd. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, where we bring you today's top stories translated into English every night. A few days ago, the Democratic Party chairman announced a deep reorganization in 35 DP branches, declaring that there will be early elections in some problematic branches. In the guideline that was sent to all chairmen of the DP branches, the DP chairman declared that June 30th is the final deadline for work groups to finish the reorganization of the party. He specified electing new chairmen in the branches, the identification of members, and clarification of problems that several branches have. We have learned that 14 new DP branches will be created and elections will be held in 21 other branches. The chairman of the DP branches, where the elections will be held, have not welcomed this decision. The chairman of P Pogradot's DP branch has resigned, saying that the decision for early elections harms the party. He thinks that there is no need to hold elections in the Pogradot branch and claims that they are being held for the interests of only some people and claims to be offended by the decision. The chairman of the Duras DP branch, along with other chairmen, have expressed that they are also against the decision of the chairmanship. They have requested an informative meeting with the DP chair, chairman, Lul Zimbasha, to discuss the reasons behind the decision to hold elections. The Minister of Finance announced the government will simplify some of the procedures in the agriculture sector, accommodating requests from the socialist movement for integration. The minister announced that cash payments will be allowed for the farmer's VAT automatic reimbursement and 24-hour custom service will be in place for the farmers. The farmers have requested and the government has heard them. The farmers will be allowed to sell their products with a value up to 30,000 new lek starting today with cash payments at the time of selling, said the minister. He continued saying that payments for products valuing from 30,000 new lek to 150,000 new lek will be made through the post. Exporters of agricultural products are classified as exporters with zero risk. As such, they have the right to VAT reimbursement, which will be made automatically. I have also ordered the customs points to offer a 24-hour service to the exporters of agricultural products, concluded the minister. However, the Council of Albanian Agribusiness claims that these changes do not solve the real problems in the agriculture sector. According to the head of the Council of Albanian Agribusiness, the government has failed to formalize the agriculture sector and to equip the farmers with taxpayer identification numbers. He claims that the provisions the government are offering are only a part of what needs to happen. In accordance with the Minister of Finance's invitation to business owners the sub to submit their proposals for the tax and customs procedures for the next year, the manufacturers plan to propose a reduction in taxes. Through a press release, the manufacturers announced the start of preparations for the fiscal package for 2017. They will formally request a full review of the fiscal package from the government with the aim to reduce taxes to at least equal levels to other countries of the region. They argue that the promise from the Minister of Finance to not increase the current level of burden in the 2017 fiscal package is not sufficient to guarantee long-term economic development of the country. The manufacturers estimate that the weak economic growth of 2.6% in 2015, along with a 5% decline in exports, the historical decline of lending, and the possible economic deflation call for a thorough review of tax policies and procedures to encourage domestic and foreign investments. According to the manufacturers, the unsuccessful fiscal packages of the past three years must substantially change. Eurostat publicized its report on unaccompanied minors in the European Union countries during 2015. According to the Eurostat report, at least 480 unaccompanied Albanian minors 
asked for asylum in EU countries during 2015. The report notes that 455, the highest numbers of Albanian minors, are in Great Britain. Following Great Britain is Luxembourg with 15 unaccompanied minors, closely followed by 10 in Ireland. However, these figures may be even higher as the Eurostat has only publicized the number of applications for these three countries out of all EU member states. The report also suggests that at least 755 minors from Kosovo have applied for asylum in EU member states with 745 of them in Hungary and 10 others in Slovenia. In general terms, the figures are alarming given that the total number of unaccompanied children is 88,300. This figure is several times higher than that recorded over the past years. The Eurostat report notes that 91% of minors who have sought asylum during 2015 were boys and only 9% of them were girls. 50,500 of them are between the ages of 16 and 17 years old. Prime Minister Eddie Rama inspected the work of two important projects in the southeastern region of the country, those of Chukas Chafe Ploce, Ploce Road and the work for Malik Landfill. Rama declared that the new project will provide a road with higher standards, making it accessible for everyone, including the nearby villages. The project for this road is an investment of $152 million and includes the construction of 120 bridges and underpasses for the citizens of the area. This road segment is also considered to be important for the Albanian economy as it will shorten the distances from Dura's port to Greece, Turkey, Macedonia, Bulgaria and others. The project connects Korcha and Tirana shortening the distance between the two cities by about an hour. During his speech, the Prime Minister put an emphasis on road safety saying, Sometimes people want, to proje want projects to finish as soon as possible, and they do not understand that taking the time to complete a project correctly is important. Proper work is important in order to ensure we don't have to start again from the beginning. That takes time. It should not be rushed. People of this area have not had access to this road. We are trying to provide the communities with access to a road which will have high standards, said the Prime Minister. Rama also inspected the work for Malich Landfill, which will collect urban waste for six municipalities over the next 20 years, beginning next year. One of the constant demands of all students to obtain a student card will get a solution within the year. The mayor of Tirana expressed his determination to keep this promise of giving students an identification card, which will offer students many benefits while using city services. During the periodic meeting with the city's youth board, which includes class senators, high school students, coordinators of universities, and representatives of youth organizations, the mayor announced that they are working to realize the student card project. Students will also help avoid many current issues, especially with the student season tickets. While speaking of the city hall's projects for the youth, the mayor also mentioned the My Tirana program, which is an innovative program the municipality has implemented, which allows people to monitor the traffic and submit complaints. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.